Hello and welcome to another video demonstration of NetElastic's BNG Manager. BNG Manager is a comprehensive web-based tool to help service providers manage NetElastic's virtual BNG and CG NAT routers across their networks. In prior videos, we demonstrated BNG Manager's rich operational features and covered configuration options. If you haven't seen those videos, check them out on our YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to look at our latest feature, Role-Based Access Control. Role-Based Access Control allows administrators to build specific access roles based on the needs and security rights of different groups of users within their organization. This is important not only for security, but also to uh, prevent access to certain features that uh, certain groups don't need, uh, and obviously from access from unauthorized personnel. Before this feature, there were just two predefined roles that users could be assigned to. With the new role-based access control, administrators can now define um, very uh, specific roles and multiple roles, uh, depending on the needs of different groups uh, within their organization. So let's uh, log in and take a look. Uh, if you recall, you know we always start with the uh, kind of the main overview dashboard. Uh, for today's uh, video demonstration, we're going to go over to the user menu, and this is where administrators would add new uh, usernames uh, for there, as well as assign the profiles uh, for them. So uh, if we pull that up, uh, you can see we've got uh, a couple different profiles predefined, including operator and admin that come pre-built on the BNG Manager. And here I've just changed... Um, the profile for this demonstration user. It's as simple as that. But now, how do we actually create those roles? So we'll go over to this new tab called Role Group, and you'll see the predefined uh, built-in roles, operator and admin, admin being full access to everything. And we've also created a support role. This might be uh, you know, somebody in the support organization and uh, we can click on the details to see what uh, privileges and rights uh, that have been assigned there. Here in the, uh, where it's highlighted yellow, that means some access has been provided. And uh, so we can see the view is available and a handful of the search capabilities uh, so they can search for users across multiple BNG groups and uh, things like that. On the operations branch, you can see we've provided almost all functionality to the support role uh, to navigate and use uh, functions within the operations tab, including uh, looking up interfaces, NAT status, any of the routing access, uh, and then down on the access side, things like subscriber uh, online fail records and uh, abnormal uh, kickoff or disconnect records as well as searching for subscribers and putting them on a watch list. Um, but we left out uh, events and the uh, critical event logs, things like that. They're really more designed for the operations team than the uh, subscriber support team. And then we did not give them access to any of the configuration options because we really don't want them uh, to have access to uh, change the configuration of the routers out in the network. That's more of the network engineering uh, role. We did give them uh, ping and traceroute, which are obviously important troubleshooting tools, and that's pretty much it. So that's uh, how that, if we did want to make a change, we can click on the edit icon and then alter any of those um, there. And we can expand the tree uh, with the button in the middle there. And then we can change, let's say if we wanted to add back their ability to see the log but not make changes or clear it, uh, we could just do that. So it's very straightforward, and uh, let's look if we want to create a brand new role. Um, we can hit the plus icon here. Uh, another role that uh, you might do would be, uh, so let's say we'll call it a backup script, and uh, this might be for IT backups, and we're going to create a very limited role here that just has access to uh, the individual devices, so they can... Uh, uh, take action on individual devices, and we're going to go down to the configuration backup, and we're going to enable that capability. So this might be uh, a user that's going to log in manually and access uh, from the GUI, or maybe they'll write a script and do it from API access, and you want that 
script to have very limited capabilities just so it uh, matches its um, purpose. So we'll submit that, and we've just created a brand new role. So it's really as simple as that. It's very powerful, and uh, we hope that uh, you're able to take advantage of this feature, and, and it uh, helps improve your operations. Thanks for watching, and uh, uh, have a great day.